I'm Andrew Phillips. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you pretty simple how you can bond polyethylene and polypropylene plastics. Let's go ahead and get started. This is what we're talking about with polyethylene and polypropylene plastics. It's this kind of plastic here where it's kind of got that like waxy kind of finish to it. It just doesn't feel like, like your typical plastics. And what happens because polyethylene and polypropylene they have a low surface energy. So most of your adhesives, including super glues and contact cements, things like that, they cannot penetrate the surface enough to create a strong enough bond with this stuff. And what'll happen is if you use super glue and you try to bond two together, you might get a little bit of adhesion going on, but the glue doesn't really dry. It's gunky and sticky. The thing just falls apart. It's not a firm grab that it, that it creates. But what I'm going to show you here in this video is a glue that I've always used that's made specifically for these types of plastics that bonds it very well. We're going to put it to the test. I'm going to show you what we're talking about. And let's take a look at that. What I have here is made by Loctite. It's called Loctite Plastics, and I'll get a close up. But this stuff is really good, and there's other brands that make them similar, but you want to make sure, like this one here says, all plastics. A lot of times you'll go to the store and you'll get plastic glues, like we have this one here by Super Glue, which is a fix-all adhesive. They claim it works on everything, including plastics. Also the regular crazy glues and super glues, things like that. But you want to look on the back. And this one here, and I'll get a close-up. And if we read the top line, it says advanced adhesive system for super strong rapid bonding works on all plastics, all materials, including hard to bond polyethylene and polypropylene. No mixing required, simply prime and glue. Specifically calls out including hard to bond plastics as polyethylene and polypropylene. That's what you want because what it has here, it has what's called an activator. And basically what this is, is this will prep the surface and prime it so that way the glue can then adhere and the two pieces can be joined together. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to cut some pieces off of these so we can have some pieces to glue together and then we'll go ahead and put it to the test. So let me cut some pieces out and then we'll be right back. I have these pieces here that I cut out, just a couple squares that we're going to glue together. We're going to just fasten them together and then see how that holds up. So what we're going to do, I'm going to get a close up. We're going to open this up and then we're going to follow the directions as they say to do it. And then we'll put it to the test. Another way that you can bond it, I have this plastic welder right here. You can get these very inexpensive. I picked this one up at Harbor Freight. They're dirt cheap, but you can also use a plastic welder to weld polyethylene and polypropylene as well. If you want to see a video I did on how to weld plastic, I'll have that link across the top, also down in the description. But for this video, I wanted to speak specifically bonding it using glues and adhesives, things like that. So open this. And I apologize. I got a mess going on here on my work, my workbench here. So normally it should be nice and open for you, but I've got so many projects going on, so we'll kind of work around it. But if we look at the directions here, I'll bring it in close. Step one, let's see, we are going to open everything up, which is like your regular glues. You're going to puncture to open the thing. But step two, you're going to apply the activator primer to both surfaces. So what we're going to do we're going to take this activator right here and we're going to prime both surfaces where they're going to be contact. So if we're putting two pieces together, you're going to prime both. So that way the areas are primed. Once that area is primed, we're then going to allow it to dry for 60 seconds. After that's done, then we can apply the glue sparingly to one surface only. We'll press them together and then it should properly bond them within 30 seconds. Full curing is achieved in 12 to, four, uh, 12 to 24 hours. Let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so we'll open up here. Primer. We're going to prime this side because this is the one that we're going to be attaching. So it's almost like using just a marker. Prime that. And then coming here. Now, oh, let me bring it in closer. We 
can see how it's going on. See, it's kind of wet. Prime it real good. And there you can see where it's primed. So we're going to let these dry. Let these dry for 60 seconds. We have our glue here. And I've already opened this before. That's why it's already been punctured. We'll open this up as that's drying. Get that ready. It's now been a minute. We're going to apply it to one. We're going to apply it sparingly like they said. There we go. Now we'll bring the other side, switch them together, and we're going to hold them firmly together for 30 seconds. Thirty seconds is up. I'm going to clear that up. And see, strong. I mean, I'm not going to snap it completely because it says twelve to twenty-four hours. But look at that. That's completely bound together. Nice and solid. I have this old three quarter scaled pinball machine from the 1970s that I restored on my channel. If you want to see the video where I did the full restoration, I'll have the link across the top down in the description if you're into that. But basically, when I got this, the caps of the bumpers right there and there were missing. Can't get replacements because this thing is so old. So I decided to make my own and I wanted to make them, if we can get a close up in here kind of matching the colors of that kind of psychedelic green and pink from the 70s. So I just picked up these cheap little plastic trays at Dollar Tree. And that's what I was showing here at the beginning of this video was cuttings that I had left over from that. And I needed to fasten them together to make the bumper covers. Well, I was having a hard time being able to do that with super glue. And then using this, um, this adhesive, it was able to bind these things together beautifully. I was able to get them completed and everything was finished with that as well. And that's it. If this would have been super glue or any other kind of glues that are supposedly for plastics, but not for polypropylene and polyethylene, right now it would still be gunky. This thing would just split apart, be falling apart. It would just be a big mess. But that's it. Let's turn it this way. I'll show you. Solid. That's it. And that's only going to get stronger in time as we let it go for 12 to 24 hours as they recommend. But that wraps up this quick video on how to bond polyethylene and polypropylene plastics. As mentioned already, you can use a plastic welder. You can check out my video on how to do that. But I was speaking more so with glues. And as we saw here, the one that I used in this video is this one here by Loctite. Loctite plastics for all plastics. And as we mentioned already, it, you want to look on the back because it, it needs to clearly mention that it works on polypropylene and polyethylene plastics. If it doesn't say that, don't waste your time and money with that because it's not going to work because that's more for the, the non-ethylene and uh, propylene plastics. So 
I hope that this video was informative for you. I hope it just helped you out. If you have any projects where you're trying to bond those types of plastics in your vehicle or anywhere else in your home, anything like that, I hope that this helped you with that. Please send me any questions and comments. I would love to hear from you. I'll have some links down in the bottom where you can purchase the, this glue if, uh, if you're unable to find it at Home Depot or Lowe's. I had to order it online. They didn't, they didn't carry it over the counter. But please send me any questions and comments. I would love to hear from you. And as always, I appreciate all the support. So please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.